I'll say this. If you guys get us to 500 subscribers by the end of August, I'll let these guys hit me in the face with cream pies. How about them Falcons? How about them Falcons? Hey man, we had a great year. Hey, training camp, training camp is going well so far. So wait, you're in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> From what I hear on Twitter. Right, know, right. Like, you mean on X? <laughs> X. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm excited. Excited for week one. Y'all gonna stop doubting the quarterback. You feel me? Stop doubting him. Don't go crazy with you. Don't leave my crow. Yeah. Welcome back. I mean, what, last time we had a video. What? A week ago. About a week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Did I get that reference in? Yeah. Shout out. Actually, don't shout out, Bobby. Before we posted a video last week, we had 390 subscribers. Now we are sitting at, y'all know? Y'all know? 416. 416 yeah. subscribers. We gained how many? A lot. I mean, me personally, I always get a little discouraged. I'm like, man, we're only at 400. We should be here. We should be there. And I can remember, I've only, we've only been doing this for a couple months. So we're already at 400. And we started in April. And it's only up from here. So we just have to keep grinding. I'll say this, if you guys get us to 500 subscribers by the end of August, I'll let these guys hit me in the face with cream pies. <laughs> okay, okay. So, go crazy. Yeah. Just go crazy with it. All right, y'all ready? We're gonna play One Has To Go. Have you played One Has To Go before, D? Yeah. I'm gonna, for those at home, <laughs> make sure you guys comment down below which one you want to go. For those at home that have not played this before, I'm gonna list off three to four things per question. And you have to pick which one of them has to go forever. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So the first one is pizza, burgers, tacos, or wings. That's so crazy. Pizza. Wings. Bro, is you good? Yeah, like, okay, so peep, peep game. I mean, I don't be eating wings like that nowadays. Two, one, I got braces. Right. You got Did we just <laughs> have Don't touch none of them. I take tacos. What? I, I get rid of tacos. Oh my, my common God. common comes out burger is too much. I'm saying, I like. I can't eat it. <laughs> I come across that with wings and burgers too much. He says, so yeah, he's an outstanding too. Yeah. Not anymore. Like think about it, since since we been together, started this thing, how many times we come in contact with wings, burgers, and pizza? And how many times we come in contact with a taco? Yeah, you're right. About the opportunity that. to even suggest a taco twice in the last week. But we've had pizza downstairs. We've had burgers or made burgers for us and we get wings off. Yeah. I'm still staying with my own wings. But I'm staying with pizza. So the next one is. Yeah. The next one is fruit category. I got mm -hmm. mangoes, okay. strawberries, apples, or oranges. Apples. Ooh. What? My the door is that way. Do you, do you know that if you get rid of the strawberries, you get rid of the strawberry flavor too? Wow. Over the rest of them? I'm, you would I'm keep so apple? Bad. I like apple juice. But you would keep orange. You don't like orange juice. But orange is good. That's good. Hey man, say man. Orange is y'all can kick rocks. Sorry. I'm just glad none of y'all disrespected yourself. Oh yeah, mango. All y'all would have to leave immediately. Okay. So what's yours? <laughs> um, what did I say? Apple? Yeah. Apple. Apple. Orange. Orange. We have not agreed on anything yet. <laughs> 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 Funny enough, we just talked about 
something similar to this, this category is Nickelodeon. We have to get rid of Rugrats, the whole Avatar franchise, the Wild Thornberry, or Fairly Odd. Wild Thornberries? What is that? That's the thing she was talking about earlier. She was making a noise. Yeah, with the little, uh, what's his name? Donnie? Yeah. Okay. I respect it because he hasn't I, seen I it. I haven't seen it. So y'all better respect my answer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, again, we do not agree. Amen. <laughs> Would you rather get rid of your favorite outfit, your favorite drink, your favorite meal, or your favorite song? Outfit. Oh, man, I can't get rid of Cardi. Um, ooh. Ooh, which one? Me looking like a bum then. A lot. Oh, oh that's what I was like, oh. Help us. I don't know who Playboy Cardi is. But. I choose. Wait. Dang. Outfits. I might, I might be looking like a ball for school. I'm going to be looking like a ball. Wait, so what are you saying? Definitely outfits. Okay. Cool. Hey, we agree. So this okay. next one is. Don't leave me hanging. Are you Superman, Ooh. Spider-Man, Ooh. Batman, Ooh. Captain America. Captain America kick rocks, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need you skedaddle. Batman. What's your reasoning? Batman's the only one that doesn't have no power. He's just rich as hell. Oh, that makes sense. So funny. Don't. So funny. You know, I mean, but technically that's like Iron Man. Iron Man doesn't have any powers. It's his suit that has powers. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. So I asked the guys at work today, uh -huh. I, I didn't ask that question. I said, would you rather have Batman powers, not Bruce Wayne's money, but Batman suit or Spider-Man's power? And they, we all picked Spider-Man okay. because Batman, without the money, the suit is just useless. I mean, you do have like his, his mental and his physical well, capabilities. Just get his suit. No. Because all the other, his mental and physical, that's all Bruce Wayne. That's mm -hmm. the person wearing it. You just get his suit. Hmm. Batman, you know, you pick who? Captain freaking America. Captain America, and you pick. I guess I'll pick Batman. Only because of the explanation. I didn't care. That was a detailed explanation. I mean, <laughs> you didn't give me an explanation for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Captain America? Oh, why Captain America? All right, peep game. Um, one. DC over Marvel. Sorry, not sorry. Two, Captain America, like, yo, I fuck with, bro. He cool. But, like, come on, you're, like, like you said, Superman, Batman, Spider Man, those are, like, the three goats. Not same, you know, what's his name? Wolverine or Hulk or whatever. But, like, Captain America just doesn't compare to those three goats. Not even compare to Batman. You, know, you, come, you come at me in the comments, you feel me? I can do whatever, but, like, that's it. Sorry. The next one in the category is comfort. We can either get rid of beds, which is the mattress, pillows, or blankets. Pillows. Yeah, the blankets include that little thing. Pillows. You can Hello. still find comfort. You can still get comfortable and sleep well with that place. I use you as a pillow. Next one is okay. sports. Soccer, basketball. Oh god. Football. Respectfully, um, what, what football? We mean saw like actual football or football? Yeah. American. <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> um, that should have been a giveaway by the question though. Soccer, football. You tripping? <laughs> Especially after this past World Cup. Gotcha. Uh. I have a passion for all three, but football is not going by the way. That's 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 the um, oh. soccer. I love you to death. But you gotta kick rocks. I can't. I gotta kick rocks. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, you feel me? Now, if you would have just said like baseball, and you know, of course baseball. Yeah, that's, you know, like... you know. that's why I didn't. Uh, the next one is your pet, 
your best friend or your parent? Bye, Milo. Milo could go. Milo could kick rocks. He's probably sleeping peacefully as we speak. Milo, I don't ever look at Milo and I'll get away from him. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you were making all those random noises, and I'm like, if you were him, I wonder what you were looking for. I mean, now that you put thoughts, like you gave like an explanation, I'm like, oh, keto, like, he's staring at me very weirdly. I'm like, yo. What are you thinking? Like seriously, what is he thinking? What do dogs think? Like that's like they just they just sit there and stare at you. What are they thinking? Did you ever ask B the question you asked L about speaking to dogs? You should insert a little picture. Of just just get the most zestiest photo you have. Yeah, you. make sure you show off his little eyelash. <laughs> the next category is sweets. Mm -hmm. So you got cake, ice cream, cookies, or brownies. Cake. Cake, ice cream, cookies, or brownies. Ice cream. Uh, what do you call it? Um, you just said it. Uh, ice cream could definitely go. Yeah, we know you can. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Okay, I fell for that one. I fell for it. Yeah, I got that. Okay. So you said cake, you said ice cream. Last one. Ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, or ranch. Mustard. Mm. Mustard. Yeah. I I was low key about to say hot sauce, but I don't use hot sauce like that. <laughs> She's the one we need! Yeah. Okay. Yeah! Honestly, condiments nowadays just don't be hitting the same. Honey mustard over anything. Top tier, for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was like, <laughs> I'm like oh. Hey, oh, I have one. It's not a one has to go, it's a. I don't know what you would call it. But on your chicken tenders, you have to choose just one topping. Would it be ranch, barbecue, or honey mustard? Or ketchup? Ooh, since you put barbe barbe bar barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, you hope, help me. I need, I need you guys. Um, so you're one of those? Actually, honey mustard. It depends. Did on you me. really just consider barbecue though? Yes, but I'm still going with honey mustard. At least you didn't say ketchup. So. Oh, no. People don't choose barbecue. Ketchup is the taste of barbecue. Yeah, but I think barbecue is a little bit more acceptable than ketchup. I don't like either on my ketchup chicken. It just has too much fat. You don't like either on your chicken. On, on like chicken tenders. Really yeah, like chicken out. tenders. Yeah. That's totally the different color. Oh, that was fun. Oh, ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one. But that was it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Broke it out. <laughs> You're legally an adult, but mentally still a child. And do I need my parents? It's not you specifically, it's just like... Oh, I mean, you just didn't take my phone. <laughs> he looks so zoned out. <laughs> 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 he looks so, <laughs> so remember, this is like for the adulthood conversation. So these are questions that people have sent in over the course of like the past month or whatever. So this is one of the questions. This particular person is legally an adult because they are 18. <laughs> But however, mentally, they're not an adult. They're, like, like he just said, you're zero as an adult. You're just not born into adult. So you don't really know what to do. So you do still need your parents or their your guidance. Them, I guess. Yeah, essentially. I think in this day and age, it is true. It's not like the older days where our, 
our parents and our parents' parents left the house at night and never came back and just figured it out and never came with two dollars. Yeah, it's dang near impossible to do that now with inflation. I don't know how someone's expected to really go out on their own and survive in this climate. Even now, even without the inflation, think back to when we were like, when, when we were in high school, when me and her were and the minimum requirement for a lot of jobs outside of like corporate America was high school diploma. Mm -hmm. I mean, the minimum is what kind of degree. Mm -hmm. like, for a job that's paying minimum wage. Yeah, so things just change. You can't just graduate. But I'm going to go get a job and work up when you can. But if you want like to get out of the nine to five and go more into corporate or get out of the ad school chain, you got to at least have some kind of degree. So the more you, the more you need to get a degree after a lot of parents in school. When you're not in school, you gotta don't have enough money to live in your own apartment. Most people, so you gotta go back home, rely on them, get food, go by their room. Um, yeah. I agree with both of you guys. It's, um, it's it's harder, especially with the. The way things and the way money is, everything's not. I would want to say everything wasn't really fair. You have to put an extra oomph into your goals, stuff that you really want to do to really achieve what you want to achieve. The system is set up for us to fail. It sucks. That's the world we live in. We have to put ourselves in the right mindset discipline ourselves so we could you know move forward with our goals so and really achieve it. How did your relationship with your parents change when you became an adult? <laughs> <laughs> Two hour long video, I love it. <laughs> we'll do the story though, but um well I just turned 18 so I haven't really experienced how the conversations would go with my, my, my parents to make an assumption I guess we go pretty much the same but just more like hey this is what you need to do you know you could take my advice but also come up with your own opinion because you're your own person Stuff like that. So it's not always rely on you know your dad to call you we call call him like hey I need such and such we'll get it to you in two days like nah bro you gotta get it on your own same thing with my mom. Yeah, they still there for you, but they kind of like back and back to make sure, like, okay, can he handle him? Yeah. That's, what it's, that's what it's like. Now. Um, my relationship with my parents has honestly grown stronger since I've become an adult. We were always close, but. I remember growing up, my mom would always be like, watch your little friend. So look at you now, my little friend. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly how my relationship with my parents has been for years now. We're just really cool and care about each other. We can talk on that intimate level where it's just free flowing. I don't necessarily have to hold myself back or like restrict myself like of course i'm so respectful i know they're my parents but it's a different level of acceptance and i appreciate that so yeah your turn so my relationship with my parents honestly has not changed my mom's always been like a for yourself figure it out type of parent so now that I'm a dog, it's just easier for me to figure it out. How has being an adult affected your mental and physical health? Don't remind me. What has changed for you in the last three months? You don't have to tell me your whole life. Um, a lot more responsibilities. Um, it's not like you're on your own, but it's kind of leaning towards like, hey, you're coming to be your own young man. It's time to do young man things. 
So, you know, me living with my grandmother my whole life, um, just kind of bagging back and letting me figure things out, which is cool, but um, which also sucks, by the way. I, anyway, we're not going to get it. But um, yeah. Um, does this suck because you got comfortable in a way being told what to do so now that she's kind of falling back in you're expecting her to tell you or you just kind of yeah that's kind of how it is she's always been there for thick and thin I'm all, that was the first person I came to for advice whenever I had a little situation going on so now that like she's She's not always gonna be there, you know. So it's kind of like, okay, okay, Demetrius, what are you gonna do in this situation? Don't always go to other people for advice. Granted, it is amazing that you're getting other people's advice. You're not just balling up your, all your story, all of your feelings and um, emotions inside. You're actually talking to people for good, good. It's, it's also good for you to think for yourself and make decisions on your own. I'm learning that these past three months of being an 18 year old from adult. Um, for me, I would say in a mental space, it's affected me greatly because I was the type of person that was in my parents' home until I was, what, 20? I Twenty five? I left when I was twenty five. Twenty six, I'm twenty six now. Okay. So I left my parents' house when I was twenty five. Uh granted I did the whole go to college, I lived on campus. Um technically that was four years away, but I don't really count that because I had a scholarship, I wasn't paying bills, so um I've really only been handling the responsibility of a full grown adult for a year now. Um, the mental capacity of being an adult has definitely changed me in a way because I've never really lived by myself per se. Um, went straight from my parents' house to our house. So it's like, interesting in a way. But um, physically, got bigger, 50 pounds. I forgot to talk about my physical aspects. You said what? Oh, I completely disregarded the half of the question. The physical aspects, um, I'm still working out this, you know, trying to get my green Aaron Yeager physique. Shout out to AMT fans, for the reference, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, you know, still working towards that. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about discipline. You know, no one's going to get that dream physique besides you. So it's up to you to get it. So people out there, come on now. Let's get to the gym. We'll work out. Okay, coach. I'll go to the gym tomorrow. Yeah. You go. I go. Come on, dog. Nah. We, 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 <laughs> <laughs> come on. We bought this this push-up thing. Bro, yeah, we, we need to. <laughs> we need to get back to walking the neighborhood. We need that in our we should um do that plus running what i run my mouth that's it <laughs> well, we can do you i know. have bad ankles i'm sorry i can't i literally cannot um, yeah. yeah we'll start tomorrow we'll i'll briskly walk <laughs> i'll hit one of those little you know the mall walk <laughs> <laughs> How has it changed you? Um, I'd say it changed me greatly. Uh, I moved out when I was 22, so five years ago, and I'm not gonna lie, at first it was a struggle, not necessarily because of the parent aspect, but more so because of like, you're 22 and you're in, the, you're in the position I was in and money's coming in like it's coming in. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I know I have bills, you have to pass out a month, but it's nice and shiny. I want to buy that. And 
I was hourly at the time, so I, like, I just work overtime just to make it up. And mm-hmm. then, even though I did that, I was tired. There was a day, I might say the company is actually legal, I worked 16 days straight. Because uh, they needed somebody to train. I was the only one that was available to train people. I needed the money, so why not? And as great as that paycheck was, I was so tired. It was overworking yourself is definitely not it. Just to give you guys a sneak peek, um, this happened recently actually. This is what made me quit. This is the deciding factor of why I quit my last job. If you know me on a personal level, you know where I used to work, you know where I was located. I quit because I was so stressed out, I could not even remember the password to my iPhone. I literally forgot it. I had so much going on in my head, I was so stressed. So many numbers would float around my head and I walked up to the top for 24 hours. And then I had to reset it anyway. Luckily it was backed up. Yeah, and then physically, thinking back off Britain, definitely do not look like, I mean, nobody, almost nobody does, but definitely don't look like I did when I graduated high school. Um, I slowed down, I went from, from 18 to last year, around this time, I went from playing basketball, lacrosse, and soccer, to walking around a warehouse, I was about to size of a football field. And I went from last year to now, I went from walking around the warehouse by the side of the football field and standing so I had to me. So now I sit behind the desk and crunch numbers. So my activity level definitely has dropped. I've seen the result of it in my weight. And obviously my eating habits have stayed the same. I'm still low junk food, but for a good honey bun and vanilla coke any day. But we're gonna get right. Don't get back to where we, we all got to achieve. I can set a goal right here and there. Um, what's your dream for you? I'm trying to get back down to 150. I have 80 days to do it. What's yours? Uh, I want to get back down to 200. Right now, I am 249. Last time I was up today. For me, I'm what one almost 140. I'm trying to get up to like 150, just straight cut, shredded all over the place. If we could achieve that in 80 days, what 80 days? By the time it By 80 days, I'll consider that a success. Oh, it's accountable, y'all. As the weeks go on, we check in on us that we're still holding on to our weight goals. We'll keep you guys updated. Maybe not every week, but at least every two weeks. You know, say, hey, here's where we are. We'll stay true. If we're slack, we'll just be honest. No, there's no judgment here. And mm-hmm. honestly, whether you tell the truth or not, like, we all look you know, like <laughs> we could really lie too much. We really saw you. I don't know. Like, if that's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So, so. We might need to get back on the... Uh... Instagram with the workout page. Instagram page? Yeah. Because that was successful, but whatever I'm doing now, I don't know. So I'm not really trying. It's all a mindset thing. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. And people un- people should understand, like we have our our periods where we just don't feel like picking up the weights to mm-hmm. lift. Don't feel like stretching. You know, it just happens. I'm pretty sure people who view this, who view this video, have experienced that or experiencing that. It's all a mindset thing. It's all about discipline. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said before, no one's gonna achieve your physique but you. So it's up to you and only you to do that. It's a little harsh. Tough love. That's that's what we need. Sometimes. I think it's one more. Do you think social security will still be around or did the boomers mess it up for us? All I know is if it's not, 
they need to stop taking it off my chest and running back all the money back. Right? Okay. Leave them in. It's that part. Right. Foolish gold. Foolish gold. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. Who's that? We're facing the exit. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so do I really need a college degree to be successful in life? So we kind of hit on this earlier. Nowadays, to be successful, no. But to move up the corporate ladder faster, yes. Because just like we touched on a little earlier, um, Nowadays, the minimum requirement for a lot of things is uh, at least some kind of degree for it used to be high school diploma. But to be successful, no. You can be successful doing anything nowadays. You can pick up a trade, you can be a content creator and just grind. You do not need a degree to be successful. It is one of the most sure ways, I guess you could say. Depending on the person you ask. But I know people with degrees that are successful, but they're not even successful in what they went to school for. And I know people that, that did not even go to school that are successful. But this goes on. It all depends on who you ask. But if you ask me, you do not need a degree to be successful, but you do need a degree if you are just going to be a regular athlete. So kind of move up the corporate. It all depends on what you want. I'll also say a lot of companies require the degree if they want to see that you have the tenacity and longevity to stick it out for four years somewhere. So that's kind of like a good omen for them. And they're willing to take a chance on you and give you an opportunity because you were able to stick it out somewhere, you're more than likely to do the same for them. Well, I mostly agree with both of you guys' mistakes, well, opinions. But I mean, if you I can't really put to mind what I want to say right now, that's kind of crazy. Um, you could be successful if you, you know, for me, for example, I, take me as an example. I want to be a filmmaker. I want to make movies. So I th think I have to go to school for that to you know, get a degree, get a filmmaker degree, learn all of the basics of filmmaking and you know, how to move cinematography, you know, Producer stuff, all that stuff. Casting, I have to go to college for. It's one of the things I have to do to get a degree. If I want to like do that in life, I have to go to college. Two, modeling. I don't think you particularly have to go to school for modeling, but it would be a plus if you did. I know there's a, I can't think of a, a degree for that, but I'm sure there is one out there. For There's actually a way that you can also do the film. If I'm not trying to deter you from school, I want you to follow your dreams and go to school. Um, but that's definitely not the only way, especially with film. Um, there's like festivals and stuff out there that you can join and like showcase the film skills that you already have. And there's several people that have actually made it big in Hollywood just based off of the films that they've done in festivals. So you definitely have options, but Follow your dreams. Go to college. Not go to college. Well, that's like the thing with that is that's not my. I don't want to particularly go to college. I don't. Gotcha. Yeah. Like that's just an option. College is an option, right? Now. I'm happy that it is an option. I'm afraid mm -hmm. somehow, some way, <laughs> that it is an option. So. Yeah. Follow your dreams, people. You know. Mm -hmm. Get to the back. Get the motion. I answered the question. I thought you were just rebuttaling what he was saying. Yes. No, I answered the question right after you answered the question. That's when he said, I agree with both. Um, oh, you already have it. Okay, my bad. That was going to be my hot take, but. Ooh, okay, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. No, that's fine. I have another hot take. Oh no, then I got it. <laughs> Why? 
how does you put how two times? How does how car insurance work? <laughs> I'll just read the first how. <laughs> how does car insurance work? So people get a car and in order to legally drive that car, well, I don't want to misspeak. I believe in certain states you don't need car insurance, but in Georgia, let's just speak about Georgia, because that's what I know. Um, once you get a car, in order to legally drive it, you have to purchase a policy from a company. Um, if you're a brand new driver, this policy is going to be stupid expensive. Um, and it basically just covers you from anything that could go wrong while you're driving, whether it's hitting another car, hitting property, hitting a person, driving off the road, hitting your tire and busting it, anything that can go wrong, your insurance is supposed to cover it. Now the downside. It doesn't matter how much like, it will cost. There comes the downside. So remember how I said it's gonna be stupid expensive when mm -hmm. you start driving? Yeah. If you do anything wrong in the car, whether it be hitting somebody or someone hits you, mm -hmm. that counts negatively against you and your policy will go up. So you're paying to basically protect yourself if anything happens. But once something does happen, you then have to pay more. So. Yeah, I don't know. Who do you have? Oh. Every single carrier or provider. Some people have at fault for doing it, or not at fault. For it, but like if, you, if somebody hits you, they don't do that. I will say this though for you and you, where you're at in your life, insurance is gonna be high for you if you do it by yourself because you are a young male and especially if you get that dream car. Young men are more likely to be reckless, we're gonna compete more. And if you see, you're more likely to hit somebody and stuff like that. This is a sports car is meant to go fast. But that's just something to think about. You also do it based off your color. Not the color, mm -hmm. the color of the car you pick. So if you pick, I know you want black, black, but if you were to somehow get a red or a yellow, your insurance will go up regardless. Mm -hmm. Because red and yellow stick out more on the road. So it automatically it's going to charge them to the police. If you do anything outside of the norm, they're going to catch it before they catch a regular gray car or black car. Those Regular cars you see on the road every day, but those neon yellows, those really, really bright green, those reds, they stick out more. People actually look at them. So it's easy to catch if you're doing something crazy. Yep. But one thing I learned about insurance the hard way uh, two years ago was what a deductible was. So, deductible, part of your insurance, you get, like she was saying, well, all this stuff in case something happens, it happens. You pay something called, you're paying towards something called a deductible in case something happens. So like, in my case, I hit a deer. I was literally turning into my neighborhood and I hit a deer. I had a 2K deductible. What a deductible meant was, whatever my damage to the car was, mm -hmm. I had to pay up to 2K of it, and then they cover the rest. That's what I'm gonna do. So, once I paid the 2K, they covered the rest. What that 2K deductible did is it made my my overall insurance per month cheaper because it's saying that if something happens, I'm willing to pay more than that do less. You could lower it to make it 500K, where if something happens, they you only pay 500. I mean, 500, 500, where you only pay 500 dollars and they pay the rest of the 20 thousand dollars, whatever it is, to fix your car. Yeah. But your insurance is going to go up because they're saying I want to pay less out of pocket. So it all depends on what you want to do. Um, if you don't mind paying a little bit more to save more later in case something happens, do that. At the time of where I was at, I didn't want to pay that much because I didn't think, obviously nobody thinks you're going to get an accident. And then, um, that's another example of a not at fault. Even though I hit something, you can't control wildlife. If a deer wants to run across the street, a deer is going to run across the street. You can't. There's no rules when it comes to animals. So that was a not at fault accident that my insurance provider did not penalize me for. They were like, we hit a deer and it was nice. Deer's, deer's a deer. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. That's something you just got to research when it comes to animals.
So, it deers, basically, is what you're saying. That shit fucked my heart up. And I had, I think it was my fucking food. Like, in the shop. I don't think I ever saw your red paper. Did you get a red paper? I just rolled it out. That's when we were saying. Oh, yeah, okay. Tomorrow will be in sped. Tomorrow will be in sped. Oh, cool. There, from the looks of it. What was that? That was spicy. <laughs> <It's all. laughs> um, am I tweaking? Yeah, you can just go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, why take taxes from income and also t tax what I buy? Life just isn't fair. Um, yeah, you got no. that. Okay. Taxes is just, they just be there. They just exist. But I don't even get mad at taxes anymore. Shit. I mean, okay, I take that back. But not gonna work. Because, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad at taxes if I actually saw, like, what is being put forward. Conspiracy. It could be a conspiracy. They say that, like, the Georgia tax goes towards, like, all those roads being built. Oh, being built. Okay. Like, being at, like, there's a two-lane house. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, and that's what they say. Where I, when I used to work, yeah, that's right. When I used to work in Alabama, we had an Alabama tax, and then we also had a city tax. Yeah. So I had to pay taxes to Alabama, the state, and then I also had to pay taxes to the city I was living in. Jesus. But that one, I can believe more so that, all oh, case, if I see them working on that road in my city, I'm like, okay, my tax is up towards that. So I'm living in that city. I'm not paying taxes to that city so I can see it. But mm -hmm. Georgia is such a big state, it's almost like, well, I don't know, like, I can see what you're saying. How do you know? Yeah, it's kind of difficult to believe when I'm riding the same ride by yeah. Yeah. I'm driving on the same road every day and I hit the same pothole. It's like, after yeah. all these taxes y'all take out, can't fix the one pothole that yeah, I continue to hit. You don't know if their money went towards yeah. something that's even worse than a place. Like we drove, we drive two hours to go see relatives, and we're still not even at the edge of the. Yeah. Like we're just we're Well, if Savannah, that's the case, then it needs to be. It needs to be split up more than because why should my tax money be paying for? I don't know a rebuild in Savannah. Which I literally just said that I paid Alabama tax, federal tax, and decimal tax. So that's more coming out of your check. So you're saying you need to split up more and you don't want to take more out of your check. That's what you're doing. I got a question that somebody asked that I remember. They asked, do I want to have kids? Now me, personally, because I know you personally, the person who asked, I think you'd be a great dad. I think you would be one of those dads that are cool with their kids and your kids respect them at the same time. But do I think you should have kids? No. So I'll rephrase that. You'll be a cool uncle. <laughs> but I don't think you should have Because where you're at right now, I think you're, you're stuck in, you're, you like the whole get up, do what you want, if you want to, you know, check on everybody. You don't have to worry about anything. And then you're good. But having to change mindset, it won't, it's gonna be hard for anybody. But I feel like you'll you'll, just, you'll love the kid, but you're just like, yeah. But it also, you're, you're not getting any younger. Like, you're older than me, so you're up there, dude. So you might as well lock, lock somebody in and get married first. Is that what you do? It's like he's following the step to step guy. Right. Like, how, how do you know how to like, tell check, him? Check. Check. <laughs> Next, we're going to do the top five uh, 
or the Disney Channel. I already have it written down, so y'all just lock in. Y'all yeah, lock in, just put your phones down. So I oh, well, I'm using my iPad. Yeah. All right, Squabber, so by now, these two lovely contestants, they are writing down and jotting down the top five of the week. So the top five of the week is the top watched Disney Channel shows of all time. So while they write that down, I'll go over the rules. It's called top five, but for this one, because they they didn't really watch Disney Channel like that. We're actually going to do top 10. So the rules are as follows, and I'll pop up on the screen. If you get in the top 10 correct, you get a point. But if you actually get, if you actually say the spot that is actually in, you get a bonus point. So for example, if you guess number 10 is basketball, but it's actually number seven, you get one point. But if you guess number 10 is basketball, and number 10 really is basketball, you get two points. Number 10 is impossible. Did I get that? You get two, you got 10, and you got it. You did not write. Oh, you put number six. I, yeah, I put it. Number nine is proud family. Okay. Number eight, nobody gets it. Even Steven. I didn't watch that. Number seven. Brittany gets two points. Lizzie McGuire. Hey! What? What? Number six. Phineas and Ferb. Okay. I ready for the top five? I did not think of finishing. <coughs> yeah. I ready for the top five? Mm -hmm. uh, commenting. Don't cheat. Number five. Anna Montana. I should get double three, points. You get one because you put it in the seven. And Reason did not put it at all. Yes, I did. I put it as much as number two. Number two. I get two points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Loki, Loki. <laughs> I thought you said. That was that. You oh, that gotcha. Was okay. Game. Number four. Good luck chart. How did hey. I not think of good luck chart? I'm so sad. Number three. Life is that control. Okay, I got that one. Number two, that's a raven. And number one, the most watched Disney Channel show of all time, Wizard the Wizardly Place. Oh, I got that. What? That's bigger than Raven? Interesting. So the end tally is Brittany with 10, Demetrius with 4. So the only one I got wrong was Jesse instead of Eden. Mm, not bad. Would it have been easier if we did Cartoon Network? We do that next week. It would have been easier if we did superheroes. <laughs> it was, I, we could do top 40 superheroes. That would be easy. 40? Yeah. We're going to do a new segment called Random Ramble. Random Ramble is we get three minutes. So we will put a three minute timer on and we get to talk about first thing that pops in our mind. Not random noises that does not count, not random doctors were on dreams. Like but they do stuff. though. They but do. Like, but actual stuff that comes but to they mind. Do. I'll start off one fact of the week. If you guys look at your weather app and you see the percentage in your city and any city that you look in. In the time of the day, that percentage is not the percent of it raining. It's the percent of the city that is going to receive rain. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So Royal Ramble, All right? Have you ever been in a situation where you're scrolling on TikTok and then like something happens and then your video that you are trying to either show somebody or finish watching goes away and you're like, hey, it's gone forever. Yeah. It's not. It's not gone forever. It's not. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you'll go to your TikTok app and then I don't know what it's called. I think it's like Discover or something. Don't kill me in the comments. I just downloaded TikTok like two weeks ago. Um, 
but it's the second wait um, so when you say that like oh say when you accidentally press the for you button and then it refreshes and stuff or you're talking about when you save a video go back to it a couple days later and you realize it's it's uh-huh. she's saying like when you view a video and you meant to like it or show somebody but you accidentally swipe down refresh it and it goes away oh That's a way to go back and look at it so like open it to, open it to so you can go to this little second one and then the search button and then type a period search and then it allows whoa, whoa. you to view your watches that is terrifying and you can see everything that you watch. It's crazy, right? Pretty. Hold on. Yeah. Shout out Phantom Tax. Um, I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom Tax. Did you see that? You recently like paid back everybody that paid tax. Like you hired a chef. Really? Kind of like this big plate of food. You gave Chris some food. You know Chris. Everybody paid him. Yeah. Tax. And from somebody else got agent or he never paid taxes. Yeah. yeah. We'll start. Um, but one meal doesn't make up for how many times he stole from the guy. That's true. I'm gonna start phantom taxing people that on my work was um oh, that's tough. Yeah, I mean they got to deal with it. <laughs> like, sorry. I think you got that riz. Why <laughs> you say riz like Did that. I use it right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where is trying to get somebody? He's trying to get somebody too. Like, get the number. Get like, you know what shit. Oh. You're better off saying he's not built like that. Like, basically. You ain't built like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, like, yo, um, yeah, if I don't text me chilling, you know, yeah, just, just look out. If I scream Phantom text, you better skedaddle out the room. Wouldn't it be D text? Because you're not good. You're good. Yeah. Now we detax. Right. <laughs> detax. <laughs> you're going to be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but the manager stays up. You know? It's like, why y'all eating better? Why y'all eating way more? That's way more. Come on, Demetrius. Why y'all eating way better than Lend us some food, fam. Stop taxing on the food, fam. Please. For the love of God, please. Thank you. Jesus. I think all workplaces should be like that. Or like have like a little women break room. I actually have a break room. Mine's different. You don't have a break room? Well, we have a break room, but they don't give us snacks. It's so we sad. get a bottle of water. No. See, the thing I mean, that there is... is a Kroger nearby. You just there. Okay. We, we have a venom machine? A venom machine. Like, because I already waste my gas 45 minutes driving to work. I think we should all be paid from when we leave the house, not when we get there. Okay. <laughs> so you think because what's going to end up happening? People like you is going to turn around and say, it's not fair that you ran into traffic and I, and I got up there in 20 minutes, so why did you get there? I am more than willing to share my location. I want to be paid from when I leave my house until when I get there. I'm talking about the days where you had a smooth, straight green light. So somebody mm -hmm. else had looked at the GPS and said they had to leave 20 minutes early because they're going to hit traffic. So, you know, why do you, mm -hmm. you get there 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. 20 minutes every day and up because of their location. Well, they can at least do like the mileage from when we leave the house. Cause that's gonna be consistent every time. Your workplace isn't gonna move. Would you rather lose all your money and valuables right now in this very moment, or lose all the pictures you've ever taken on your phone? Any picture that, any evidence of any picture that you've ever been. So if it's on somebody else's phone, that gets your anybody picture. Whether it be a Polaroid, a Kodak, 
phone, you are really wiped out the first thing you do. Or you lose all your value and all your money. Hey man, I'm gonna just have to go ghost and be mysterious. At that point, because I need one. I love my photos, I look good in every photo I take. Okay, that's cat. But like, um, I love my photos. I mean, coming from an expire, expiring model, that's gonna suck, but hey, at least I got the bread though. I would say valuable because I have some priceless photos of people that are no longer here. So. Let us know in the comments what you think. Would you rather lose all your valuables or lose all people that you are ever in the world I have a question. Okay, let's say I'm in a photo with one of my loved ones that's no longer here. I would just be erased from the picture or the picture altogether is deleted. Oh. Okay, then I changed my answer. Interesting. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, because I thought he was saying the whole picture together was gonna be deleted. Hot take Sunday time. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Falcons went into the division. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Give me the ball. I'll take Sunday, not Wednesday. So, I'll go first. The government has announced aliens are real. My hot take is that the young lady that was on the plane a couple weeks ago calling out and yelling that the person in the back of the plane is not real and he changed shape. She possibly saw an alien. I read a post this morning that her and her entire family is missing. So I low-key believe whoever she was pointing and yelling at, at the, on that plane was extraterrestrial. I thought she was just being an alien. Yeah, see, everyone thought that. But now that it's released that aliens are real, makes you wonder. Wait, so she was, she, what was she was yelling at someone in the back? Yeah, saying that they're not real. And that coupled with the fact that she's now missing, her and her she's entire family. Missing? Yes. Granted, I didn't do a lot of research into it, but I saw folks and it said that her and her entire family is gone. Yes. That's more and more evidence that you know, you're real, man. They're amongst us. They're like literally us. We are. I could be one. Never. Heard. <laughs> if you were an alien, I'd be like, that would, that would actually make more sense than you being a human. I'm gonna say you do sound like Really? Really? So I'm out of this world? Is that what you're telling me? That's the way you want to say. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a good hot take. Um, Phantom Tax. I'm joking, it's nothing. Um, my hot take Sunday is just like Blockbuster, I think AMC theaters are going to fade out. Reason being, of course, yes, people love that in movie theater experience and some things just have to be in theaters but for the people that got so used to covid like we were just talking about earlier where now disney is acquired sorry marvel is acquired by disney which also is the umbrella of star wars and all this other stuff if something comes out tomorrow if i just wait three months it's gonna be on my disney plus so why go to the theater and see it when I can see it from the comfort of my home and don't have to worry about it. So just like how Blockbuster was faded out by Netflix because people can watch stuff in the comfort of their home while they going to the store to rent a two-day video cassette and bring it back, I think AMC is going to fade out because if you just wait a couple months, there's not even just Disney Plus. There's Paramount, 
Hulu, Netflix, there's all these streaming services where if you just wait a little bit, one of these movies is going to pop up on one of them. So why pay $13 or 10 plus for a movie when I could, for one movie when I could pay 10 around that same amount a month and get all these movies? Especially nowadays, they're more like 20 bucks per ticket. I do get that some things you just have to see in theaters, but fade out. People are just so used to being on COVID really change people's minds. People don't want to go outside unless they have to. And now they don't have to. When it comes to I guess that also like puts people in more ways to like, I mean, this could be described the whole topic, but by that, what COVID did to us was one, make people a little too comfortable in their living situations. Two, not like this goes into what you were saying. They don't want to like experience things, you know? They want to like sit here and just be all slouch and lazy and stuff. Like back to the movie thing. Um, I'm a guy who loves to go see movies in theaters. I love it in the big IMAX screen with a big load of people. You know, for example, when I saw Spider-Man No Way Home, that that was truly a once in a lifetime experience for people. And for people, you know, of course, people who saw it in theaters would have, on the, the night it dropped, it was, it was phenomenal. It makes sense because everything's so digital now. And same thing with video games too. Everything is just digital. You could just go to the PlayStation store, or Xbox store and just buy it from there. Instead of going to the local Target, GameStop, Best Buy and getting an actual copy of it. Everything is just so easy access. So that's just how we're where we live in. Subscribe, like, comment, give us your thoughts and opinions. You know? Yeah. Do you want to hit her in the face with the pie or not? Subscribe, people. <laughs> um, like, comment, give us your thoughts and opinions. Share this video to your friends, There's family. No Should... judging Come on. Podcast. I'll judge no matter you. what you say, he's not really a part of So if she judges you, my statement still stands true. <laughs> he you said it. <laughs> <laughs> if you judge, you're not part of us. If you, please, no judging. Ever, ever since the, the OG squad, you always said you would never judge. If you judge, you're not part of I'll explain your aliens, you are aliens. Yeah, you look, you just exposed yourself. Hmm. Says the guy that said that in, what was that, video three, I think it was? He said, Scobble Podcast is not judge, and then you immediately turn to you laugh. You're an And on this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as because of, they told us? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with all your friends and family. Get us to at least 500 subscribers so that these two can hit me in the face with some pie. All right, Scholars, make sure you keep your minds open and your body's turned up. Peace.